The crash has shut down a portion of Shallowford Road. Grace McKenna just immediately got to the scene as quickly mm -hmm. as possible to update us in the five o'clock hour. She's currently interviewing the police department, but mm -hmm. gosh, when she was showing, uh, when Tim McCurry and, uh, and everyone was showing video of it, I mean, we couldn't make out what the vehicle was. It was just very disturbing, simply obliterated. So. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to head on over to Channel 3 Grace McKenna right now. I think we have her live. Grace, is there any update you can give us right now about this crash? Yes, Caroline, there is. John mentioned just a second ago that you couldn't really tell what was happening. Uh, you know, when we were showing you that video earlier of that scene, we can tell you a bit more now. We just got done speaking with the Chattanooga Police Department. I'm going to step out of the way so you can get a look at what we were just talking with that officer about. You can see two uh, pieces of vehicle in the road here at uh, Amon Drive and Shallowford Road. That is one car. He tells us that this was a one car involved accident. And so what that means to them is that this car must have been going at very high speeds to cause this much damage. The sergeant that we spoke with told us this is a very, very large scene. They are still working to investigate exactly what happened, what speed that driver was going. He was able to tell us that uh, at that Wendy's on the corner there, there was a fire hydrant and a pole that were struck. So still, uh, you know, just those are some preliminary details, but they are working to investigate exactly what happened. As for uh, people's commute this morning as they're coming down Shallowford Road, this is is expected to be uh, closed for several more hours as CPD continues to investigate and clean up that scene. We're going to continue to bring you updates uh, when we do have them on that investigation from the Chattanooga Police Department. But for now, Grace McKenna live in Chattanooga, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Uh, just a, mm -hmm. a humbling video. Grace, thank you so much for mm -hmm. hustling to get all that information to us. And if you are looking for an alternate route this morning, mm -hmm. uh, Lee Highway is going to get you around. If you're trying to get down Shallowford to Gun Barrel, it's going to take mm -hmm. you a little bit of uh, extra time, especially to get over the interstate there. Mm -hmm. uh, but Lee Highway will take you to 153 and also take you to 75 northbound if you go up just a little mm -hmm. bit. So, But you're going to definitely want to plan ahead this morning. That entire section looks blocked off. Well, the big news out of Georgia.